Hey everyone, it's Rebecca from Bex and Books, and hi, it's been quite a while. Um, yeah, I think the last video I made was a before Thanksgiving, and that seems like ages ago, so I think I may have forgotten how to YouTube. So please forgive me in this video, because I don't think I remember how to YouTube anymore. So, yeah. And I know I should be looking Christmassy, but this is what I have on because I live in Georgia. And guess what? It doesn't get cold in Georgia at Christmas, really. So we've had nice temperatures in the 60s and 70s, you know, spring. So I'm kind of upset about that. But I looked at the forecast and it seems like we might be getting some cold weather in soon, which may not be good for my fibromyalgia. But hey, Christmas spirit, you know, we got to push through it. So anyway, um... Today, I wanted to do the what is in my color traveling bag because I have it sitting right here and I actually, I haven't unpacked it since we got back from our trip right after Thanksgiving because I haven't been doing any coloring or anything and I knew I was going to make this video, but let's be honest, I've just been really lazy and I've been really into Animal Crossing and I've really been into reading and I've been into playing The Sims again, so that's what happened there. But anyway, the book I'm reading right now is actually right here. The Holiday Swap. This is so cute. This was my book of the month for the month of December. And I am loving this book. I stayed up till like 2 a.m. reading this last night because it's just so cute. It's exactly, it's exactly the type of book I need for this time of year. So it's a lot of fun. And also it was so cute because um, book of the month sent like these little, these little stickers. I know there's a glare, but like with these cute little sayings, like the little gingerbread man, I love gingerbread man and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought it was cute and I don't have on any nails and I haven't had my nails on since before Thanksgiving because again, lazy, but also I hurt my thumb. I was cutting a bagel in half and yeah, the uh, serrated bagel knife decided to uh, get in a fight with me and he won and he took a chunk out of my thumb but to be fair i think the bagel and the knife ran on it together so it wasn't really a fair fight so yeah anyway enough rambling let's get on to the main event which is what is in my travel coloring bag so first things first this bag is huge and it is heavy i actually weighed it and I'm going to have to stand up to actually pick it up and put it on this table and hope this table does not collapse because this is a little wonky table. So I'm hoping it doesn't collapse. But this bag weighs 18 pounds, 18 pounds of necessities, necessities for coloring. So <clears throat> here we go. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Okay, I need to work out. This is what we have here. Actually, this is the front of it. Um, I guess you can't see it all the way down, but this is, this is how big it is. Here's me. Here's the bag. <laughs> so, yeah, that's heavy. Ooh, that's an ab workout. All right. So, let me just put it over here. <laughs> so, here we go. I got this bag at Target. It was just like a cute little bag I saw. And so, I've had it, and I thought, hey, that'd be good for my coloring stuff. So, um, I'm just gonna open it and I'm just gonna pull out whatever's on top and just go from there because this is exactly how I packed it and left it. So first things first is this little case right here and if you've watched my channel for a while you may recognize this but this is my case for holding all of my Sakura gel pens that I keep and take with me. This is my stash of those because um, I was doing, I was right in the middle of the uh, gel pen challenge. So I actually took this book, The Worlds of Wonder, or not The Worlds, but Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And because I was planning on working on that, but I didn't. But I did start a third little stamp before we left. And it, it's not turning out bad so far. It's actually um, this little camel dude you can see right here on the end started him and just using um, my Sakura pens so the other like 
uh, gel pens. You know, they're the tan mint ones and they come in that big black case and I couldn't carry both of those. Those were just way too heavy. So I just took my Sakura ones and this is the book I took for those. I'm such, I am so off my game right now. Um, the next thing I took is my favorite pencil sharpener. I cannot be without my favorite pencil sharpener. This is an Affmat pencil sharpener. It's electric. This is, this is the one. This is the one for me. And of course the cord to plug it in. I know this takes up a lot of space, but nothing sharpens my pencils like this. It sharpens every set of pencils I own like a dream, including the, um, the Brooke Funner ones. Anyway, it does those too. So I have to have this with me. Next are, oh, this. This is my color chart book. This is where I have like all my swatches for like my, um, like my jelly rolls and markers and things like that. So I definitely had to have this with me, my swatch book. It's falling apart. <laughs> and then my color pencils of choice, the ones I chose to take, are my Prismacolors. And that's because these are just my tried and true, like I've always said. Um, they have a ton of colors to choose from. I'm familiar with the colors and they're just easiest for me to work with so you guys have seen these so my prisma colors and the other two coloring books i took are by laura local and i took the dots and cupcakes because i didn't want anything too too intricate because i knew i didn't want to get into something really deep while we were up there um i did this before we left but um yeah little little shimmery a little bit shimmery cupcake and then she actually came out with a Christmas one which is really exciting and it stops in Christmas and I was planning on working in this but like I said I just got so distracted with reading and playing games and watching movies and stuff but like it has like you can tell this is a little grandma and um but I thought this would just be a gingerbread house nice and simple to work with even though I didn't but yeah, that was my plan. And then lastly, this is what's taking up all the space because I can't go anywhere without this, including the house. This is my absolute essential uh, bag. And it's this right here. It's like a little craft bag, but this has like all of my essentials in it. So, um, I have several sets of markers, but of course I didn't want to take like big sets of separate markers, plus they wouldn't fit in here. So I just took this because this holds my Prismacolor markers. I have some Winsor Newton markers. I have some, what are these? Arteza markers. So I have plenty to choose from. I have the Ahuhu glitter markers, which I love so much. And my um, Clean Color dot markers. I also have all of my water brush pens, which I didn't take any watercolors or anything like that. My erasers. This is my favorite eraser. It is also by Affmat and this bad boy gets the job done. I'm telling you. But then I have the smaller erasers for, you know, tinier, tinier places. And over here I have my glitter gel pens because they won't fit in the uh, the little set over here because that one's full so I just keep them in here but these are the Sakura glitter gel pens and I have all of my Posca um, my Posca paint markers that I use on all different colors I also have a glitter set of the Posca paint markers see what else I have my jelly roll white pen which is very important <laughs> I have another white pen which is I don't know which one this one is oh this is the uniball signo which sometimes I actually like this better than the um, Sakura one this one seems to have like just a little bit of a better flow to it and then I have some more of the 
uh, Posca pens like the minis. I have a black one, a silver one, and a gold one. And these are just great for details. I love using these for details. And let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, I have a blender pencil. This is by a brand called Thornton's. I just found these on Amazon. It comes in like a pack of like, I don't know, 10 or something for like five bucks. But um, they're pretty good. They're not as good as the Prismacolor one. But, um, is you know, if you push too hard, it can get scratchy. But as long as you keep a light hand, it works pretty well. So I will use these sometimes on my other um, color pencil sets that don't have their own blender pencil. But I prefer the Prismacolor ones, especially when I'm using my Prismacolor pencils. And just in case, a manual pencil sharpener. And I like this one by Coom. It's like a little mason jar. So I take that. So this goes with me wherever I go, including in the house, upstairs, downstairs, wherever I'm going to color. This is right here with me because, you know, brush for your, when you erase and everything. So this is always with me wherever I go because, like I said, these have all my essentials that I need. In case I don't feel like getting up and grabbing a certain set of markers, I'll try to find a color in here. Or these are just skin tone, so I don't have to jump up and you know, I have a set of skin tone in here. Um, Arteza is not my favorite. I actually prefer the Ohuhu skin tone markers, but of course those are in a different case. So I just keep these in here so they're nearby. They're not bad, you know, I'll use them, but I just don't like them as much as the Ohuhu. And then, oh yeah, right here in the front, I have this little pouch here. And in this, I just keep my um, extra, uh, like Prismacolors to, you know, ones that need replacing soon. So I just keep them in there and I took them with me in case some need replacing, you know. So I usually overbuy. If I start seeing them get to the, a little bit below the halfway point, I'm kind of like, I need to buy it. I need to buy it. What if they're not in stock and I can't find it? So yeah, this is pretty full right now. And it also has my um, refills for my eraser right here. And, you know, they're a good bet. And these last a good while so yeah that is it I believe everything I took and didn't touch so there we go and actually we're going out of town let's see the week after Christmas is also pretty busy for us because um, my brother's birthday is the week after Christmas. My husband has takes that whole week off every year the week after Christmas. So yeah, we're usually doing a lot of stuff. And so, um, you know, for my brother's birthday and stuff. So we're actually going out of town, um, the day after Christmas from the 26th and coming back on the 30th. So this will be going with me again. Hopefully I will actually do some coloring. I do want to get some coloring done in this while it's still the Christmas season. And I consider the Christmas season pretty much all the way up to New Year's. So I'll still read Christmas stuff and coloring Christmas stuff till New Year's, you know. But yeah, that is everything. But this is the main thing. This is why I needed a big bag that was like really wide like this because I needed this to fit in it because I'm, I'm not doing any coloring without this bad boy right here. This is These are my essentials. <laughs> A lot of essentials, but these are my essentials. So, yeah, I know it's not as much as it looks like it was going to be when you saw that giant bag. And I told you it weighed 18 pounds. But um, if you kind of think about it, it is a lot just because this holds so much. I mean, all these markers and stuff like that. This holds a ton. And then um, this is pretty thick. You know, the Prismacolor one. So yeah, I mean, it did a good job. I'm really happy with this bag. Like I said, I got it at Target. I got it at Target probably a month and a half ago or so. So they might still be available if you're interested in something like this. It's just cute. Too. It's a cute little bag. So yeah, anyway, that is it. I know this was kind of a short video, but this is one I've been wanting to do ever since I got back and, you know, been kind of weird ever since I got back but um I was feeling it tonight so I decided to just sit down and make it so yeah um my next video I do have a review and flip through of a new coloring book that I'm excited to share 
and I would like to try to at least finish the camel little picture in um, the Johanna Basford book with the gel pens. I'm going to try to do that and hopefully get that done on camera because that one's actually turning out good, you guys. It's turning out good. I probably just jinxed myself, but I'm kind of proud of it, so <laughs> I want to show it to you. And um, yeah, so just let me know if there's anything you want to see, um, specific books you want me to color in, specific things you want me to chat about, um, any kind of things like uh, a bookshelf tour. And I also have my coloring cart. I think that would be kind of fun to show you what's on my coloring cart, which sits right next to the couch next to me so yeah I have things like that so let me know what you want to see and hopefully I can um, get back into the mood and into the spirit of things and of coloring and getting my passion and my um, just overall good feeling and happiness back um, this time of year from now until um, February uh, these are going to be tough months for me, but I'm going to try to make the best of them. I can't promise that I'm going to be making a ton of videos, but I'm going to make what I can when I can. It's also going to be a busy time as well. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. So pretty good. Pretty good job for being kind of rusty. I think I did well. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, please consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed for, you know, okay-ish content. No, please consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed. And I appreciate you all so much. Leave comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you would put in your travel coloring bag. Like, what are your essentials? Like, that you absolutely cannot go anywhere and color without having these essentials like I do with this blue bag here, you know. Yeah, so it was nice seeing you guys and talking to you guys again. And I will see you hopefully, hopefully, pretty soon. I don't want to say very soon, but pretty soon. But it may be very soon. I don't know. If I'm going to do like a review and flip through of a coloring book, I really want to have better nails than these because it's going to be all up close. And yeah, I don't want to do a disservice to this coloring book by looking at my little wonky, my wonky nails, which are just sad, sad little things. Plus this isn't pretty. So <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.